What's going on guys? Uh, I got an in-stock trades order in today, so I'm going to do a little bit of a video. Uh, it's already all unboxed. Uh, I generally can't wait um, wait long enough to unbox it on video. But uh, This first book actually didn't come from in-stock, um, but I got it last week and I thought I'd show it anyway. This is the, um, the Ecstatics Omnibus, uh, Peter Milligan and Mike Allred. Uh, it includes... What does this include? The original run on X-Force, um, all 26 issues of Ecstatics, and some other random things, the Dead Girl miniseries and, um, and stuff like that. So Mike Allred artwork almost throughout. There's some Duncan for Gretel stuff at the end. Um, this is the slip cover right here. This thing is like 1,200 pages. It's massive. Uh, it has a $125 cover price, I believe. And I actually got it off eBay for like 20 bucks. So couldn't pass that up. Okay, and then this is the stuff that I got from InStock today. I put this order in on Wednesday when one of these books came out, but first this is um, Sir Edward Grey, Witchfinder. This is volume one. Sir Edward Grey is um, an occult investigator in the Hellboy universe. I think one of the things that I love about the Hellboy universe so much is that you get a perspective of the same sort of um, I don't know, universe, for lack of a better term, um, from the perspective of a bunch of different characters and even in a bunch of different time periods. Uh, you have Lobster Johnson, who is a um, who's a pulp character. Hellboy, all the Hellboy stories take place after Hellboy's found in during World War II, um, and then um, Sir Edward Edward Gray is more of a Victorian character. So um, so yeah, you get some you get some different perspectives, and I think that's really cool. I haven't read this yet, but I know it's going to be good. Um, this is written by Mike Mignola, Ben Stenbeck, artwork who does um, Baltimore right now. So. Uh, there's a second volume of this that I need to get, but I'm slowly putting together all the Hellboy stuff, both in singles and in trade. Okay, and then this is the book that I'm super pumped about. Um, I cannot wait to read this. I picked up one, uh, a single volume from this trade. This is an omnibus. A single volume from this, uh, at the con, and I read through that, and I thought it was fantastic, so I needed to get the rest. This is the Uncanny X-Force um, Rick Remender Omnibus that came out this past Wednesday. In Stock Trades gets their stuff in on Wednesdays and you can order um, right then and have it shipped. So uh, I'm not going to take the slip cover off because I'm going to do a um, like an overview of this book. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it first or if I'm just going to talk about it like aesthetically but um, this book looks amazing. I cannot wait to get into this. Uh, I've been loving Rick Remender stuff lately and the team on this X-Force book um, is real is really fantastic. The, from the trade that I read, um, I'm not a Deadpool fan, but Rick Remender all, even does a pretty good job of making me interested in um, in Deadpool. So, uh, really, I would really suggest grabbing this book. Hundred dollars, ninety nine ninety nine uh, cover price, fifty dollars on InStock Trades. Cannot beat that. Nine hundred pages. Not quite as massive as this um, this Ecstatics book. Here's the comparison. But um, I think it's nine hundred pages. But I uh, can't wait to get into that. That'll be the first thing that I read for sure. So, uh, Also got some back issues and stuff in today, but I'm going to wait a few days um, until I get some more stuff and do a back issue haul video. So uh, that's all I got for today. Uh, take care, guys, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.